guys and welcome to the channel my name is Priscilla and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to draft a basic sleeve block so I actually had a friend who like personally messaged me to ask me can you show me how to do this or can you refer me to a YouTube video so as at the time I showed her a YouTube video that I thought was great but in this video I'm going to be showing you how to actually draft one to your exact body measurements so if you'd like to see how I created a basic sleeve block keep watching if you are new on the channel welcome to the DIY Hi, fam take a seat two five however many you like sit relax and enjoy if you're an OG welcome back again to the channel if you aren't subscribed already please subscribe the button is down below either on the left or on the right hand side so you stay connected whenever I have new videos up every single week so without further ado and let's just stop on the rambling let's get on with this tutorial shall we <laughs> you will need the following tools for this tutorial so I got myself my set square and pattern master because I need that curved end around the pattern master. So my set square is great because it helps me to draw straight lines. You also need clean pattern paper, whichever one you have works. I also got some scissors, pencil, marker, eraser and pen. You will need to take the following measurements, your sleeve length around your bicep, around your elbow around your wrist and your arm side which is around your top arm just to double check the pattern when you are done so once you have those measurements taken they will help you to actually draft the pattern later on so we're going to roll out a subsequent amount of paper cut out as much as you need just to ensure the width of the paper should be more than your bicep so you're sure that it actually fits on here so I'm just going ahead and I'm marking the length of my sleeve that's from the top of my hand or the top of my shoulder all the way to my wrist. So I'm going ahead to draw a straight line but before I draw the line I just want to be sure that the line is actually straight. So I'm double checking with my tape measure to the edge to see if the line is straight and once I'm sure of that I'm going to draw a straight line from the beginning to the end of my sleeve length. So I'm just marking that in with my marker to make sure you guys actually see what I'm doing. So once I'm done with that, the first thing I'm going to do is to mark 8 inches down from the start of the sleeve. And that would be your bicep. And then we'll go ahead and mark about 6.5 inches below the bicep which will become the elbow point. Once I'm done marking these points, I'm just going to go ahead and write down what is actually what so I don't get confused. So I'm going to write down the bicep or upper arm and just annotate the elbow as well. So the next thing we're going to do is to mark your bicep or upper arm dimension and then to get what the half measurement would actually be on either side of the line you fold your tape measure in two this is just a quick way to divide dimensions and measurements when marking points or measurements in pattern so i've gone ahead and i've divided our measurements by two and marked it on either side of the straight line before drawing the line across so this line here is actually your bicep width you will repeat the same thing for your elbow width so you know your elbow measurements you divide that in half and then you put half on each side of the line because that line is going to become your grain line when you're done with this pattern so i'm just going ahead and i'm marking the relevant points the set square just helps as a guide to ensure that the line is actually straight when I want to draw it from one point to the other. So once you've done that for the bicep, the elbow, you repeat the same thing for the wrist of the sleeve pattern. Working with the wrist measurement I have, I'm just going to set my set square in place and then take my tape measure. My wrist measurement was 9 inches, whatever yours is, you can just work with that because I want the, the block to be quite basic and I can adapt it to whatever shape or design that I want later on. So I'm just marking half of that dimension on either side, which is 4.5 each. Then I'm connecting them together, just marking where it actually starts and begin and writing what that line actually is, which is the wrist. Moving on to the next step, we are going to go back to that bicep line and mark the midpoint of that line. So on either side of our original straight line, we're going to divide the line into two. 
and take our set square and draw a line straight from that middle point upwards that is 16 centimeters long i ended up changing this line later on because i found that it was too high but you understand why i decided to make the change as we go along the tutorial so once you're done doing it on one side i went ahead and did it on the other side and this is what it looks like so far so just indicate what side you want to be your back and your front because then you know what side you're working from at each point so the next thing you do is to draw a triangle that starts from the beginning of that line to your bicep point one of your bicep points so you do that on one side and you do that on the other side so now that we know what side is the front and the back so you do it for the front as well as the back so once you're done doing that we're going to connect our biceps to our elbow to our wrist with one continuous line so the shape actually comes together right now so as you can see the sleeve is already beginning to look like an actual sleeve we haven't done that the curved head yet but at least that sort of like bicep elbow wrist area is beginning to actually look like what it's supposed to look like so once you're satisfied with all of this we're going to go ahead and create that sleeve head or sleeve curve that a lot of sleeves actually have starting with the front panel we are going to divide that front slant by four so I honestly don't know why the rule goes this way, but I guess it all is in regards to actually how the front sloper curves. So we're going to divide that line by two and then divide it by two again. And you can use my easy trick of just folding the tape measure in half to get sort of the midpoint measurement of whatever you're trying to divide. So you're going to end up with one two three with three points after you're done dividing this front slant into four so i'm just going ahead and i'm marking the point again with my marker pen so it's really clear and visible and as you can see i have my three points at this point so that's one two and three and you see why this points are really really crucial so from that first point you're going to mark 1.5 centimeters down and that's because the front of the sleeve usually is more deeper to accommodate your bust line and that curve around the front of your body so you're going to go to the top or the last point and mark two centimeters above which is going to create that really curved sort of shape that the sleeve head has so the next thing we're going to do is to join those points together and as you can see that 16 centimeter point is too high so i ended up reducing it to 13 centimeters and at that point i knew i knew that i i just had to make a correction there so i'm going to go ahead and connect my point together from the bottom all the way to the top using my pattern master just take your time doing this because if you don't get the curve right it wouldn't sit well on your body so i went ahead and did it first in pencil before going ahead to use my marker when i was sure of my curve once i'm done joining all my front points i also have to remember to add a notch so i know what side is actually the front so i decided to place the notch at the point where the curve meets the straight line I'm not exactly 100% sure if that's the right place for a front notch, but for the sake of this tutorial, I've just placed it there so we know what side is the front and what side is the back. So for the back, you're going to divide the back slant by three. So once you have that measurement down using your tape measure, I just decided to use my phone to divide it because I'm not very good at mathematics. So once I got my dimensions, I went ahead and I marked my sort of one third point, if that's correct. So I marked 8.7 and took another 8.7 downwards to have that bank back slant divided by three. So once I'm done doing that, I went ahead and I corrected that projection I made earlier on, not 16, but 13 because it was just way too high at 16. And then once we're done doing that, we're going to go ahead and divide the last segment into two because you want to have a curve at that bottom of the sleeve head for the back. So once you divide it into two, we're going to mark 0.6 centimeters inwards, so into the sleeve, not outside of the sleeve. 
so once you've marked that 0.6 centimeters at that point we're going to go to the top one and mark two centimeters outwards like you did with the front one and these points are what we're going to be connecting later on to create the curve for the back of the sleeve so i'm just going to head to clarify and make those points really clear using my marker and i'm going to connect these points as you can see all of the way to there and to the head to join the front Now that we've joined all the relevant points, this would become our sleeve block plan. This is not the finished sleeve because we are going to take fresh pattern paper and trace off whatever relevant lines that we need to create the actual sleeve block that you work from. So this is what it looks like so far. I know there are lots of lines and points and dots, but the sort of arithmetic that goes into this is what makes it sort of easy to use later on because you sort of know what goes where and how much you should divide what so before i trace off into fresh pattern paper i'm just smoothing off the head so it's like a nice curve and just write that it's an actual head of the sleeve and mark any necessary points i need to so i'm going to go ahead and take fresh pattern paper and trace off the sleeve block and because i use marker pen it's very clear so you can either tape this down or put like a heavy weight to trace off but once you do that you should have something that looks like this so remember to add the bicep the elbow the wrist because if you have to change the shape of the sleeve you know what line is what so i went ahead and i added a one centimeter seam allowance all the way around wrote what it was how many i need to cut what the grain line is added my notches just any important information that i would need if i wanted to work with this sleeve pattern so i'm just going ahead and cutting it out of the paper and finishing it off for you guys so this is the finished sleeve pattern I will be honest, this is the first time I actually created one from scratch on my own. I really pushed myself and I was like, this year is the year I would make a basic sleeve block and I did it and I actually worked from this sleeve block and I made a dress for someone and it came out really, really cool. So I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. I would love to know your comments and thoughts down below. If you have any questions, suggestions or ideas, please ask as well and I will see you in my next one. Bye. to my insta story <laughs> are you having a good time wow you've like cleaned your plate <laughs>